Bless the Lord. We thank God once again this day that He has made. I just want to say this. It came to pass. <laughs> it came to pass in Isaiah 55, Isaiah 55, verse 10 and 11. Thank you, Lord God. The Word of God says, and this is the King James Version. It actually says, Amen. For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven, and do not return there, it doesn't return there, but water the earth and make it, praise God, bring forth and bud. It says that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that go forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. I know you know the word. I know you know this. Thank you, Lord God. But what he's telling us, it said, is, amen, about the word of God. Amen. He said, as the rain, the rain comes down, he said, praise God, it's not going back. He said, amen, they give water to the earth so that the crops can grow here. Amen. And then the farmer, amen, has seeds to plant and the people, guess what, have food to eat. God is saying, just as this this what it does, this is what the rain does and the snow when it comes down, that's what his word is going to do. His word, thank you, Father. He's given us his word, and I thank God for his word, knowing that his word is not returning to him. Amen, boy. I bless God this morning still again because understanding, let me tell you, Amen. For each and every one of us right now, even those of you that's under the sound of my voice here on this conference line and those that are listening by way of YouTube, listen. Amen. God spoke a word. Amen. For us to understand that we are fearfully, wonderfully made by Him. And I thank God because whatever your birthday is, some of us just celebrated a birthday. What? Amen. But we bless the Lord to understand whatever birthday, amen, that you, you know, on the calendar. That day you were born, you have to understand that you were in the mind of God. You were in the mind of God. Thank you, Father. And I bless God because even as God spoke the word, amen, to Jeremiah, in Jeremiah 1, 4 and 5, amen, he said these words, amen, then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew you. Before I formed you in the belly, I knew you. Yes, he's talking to uh, Jeremiah, but you better believe that this is the same thing God is saying. Before I formed you, I knew you. Amen. And before you came forth, amen, out of the womb, God sanctified you. Thank you, Lord God. And he ordained. Amen. Thank you, Lord God. He ordained you. Whatever, amen, your purpose, whatever you've been called to do, God ordained you for this purpose. You've given your life to the Lord. You've been ordained for a purpose and a reason. My God, in the mighty name of Jesus, I tell you, it's just still mind-blowing just to know that we were in the thoughts of God. Amen. In the mind of God. Amen. Thank you, Father. And whatever birthday, whatever your birthday was, it came into fruition. Amen. Blessed be unto God. When you gave your life to God, amen, it definitely came. Amen. Praise God. It came to pass. And I bless God as we have shared all week. Amen. We've been sharing the word of God. But even as we share with you concerning Hannah out of 1 Samuel. Amen. And I bless God because let me tell you, it came to pass. Amen. In 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 20, the word of God says, Wherefore it came to pass. There it is. It came to pass. Amen. When the time was come about that after Hannah had conceived, that she bare a son and called his name Samuel, saying, Because I have asked, amen, him of the Lord. Amen. I want you to understand this. At God's appointed time, not our chronological time. I'm talking about God's appointed time, Kairos, Kairos. God's appointed time, your change is going to come. That change, whatever, amen, God is for, it's going to come. And I bless God because still even in the word of God in 1 Samuel, amen, praise God, chapter 1, in verse 24, it let us know, amen, when she had weaned him. Amen. She took him with her to Eli, amen, with, along with a sacrifice. Amen. Unto Eli. And I thank God in verse 26, this is what it says. And she said, O oh my Lord, as thy soul liveth, my Lord, I am the woman. She's reminding him, I'm the woman that stood by thee here praying unto the Lord. And in verse 27, she says, for this child I prayed, and the Lord has given me my petition which I asked of him. Thank you, Lord God. And in verse 28, 
Amen. The word of God says, therefore also I have lent him to the Lord. Remember when she when she was out crying, amen, prior to all of this, when, when Penina had done provoked her, amen, into prayer, when she was crying out to the Lord, her mouth moving, praise God, and no words coming out, and Eli thought she was drunk. Amen. She made a vow. She said, Lord, if you give me a, a, a son, you give me a son, I'll give him back to you. Now here it is, praise God, it came to pass. In this verse, praise God, 28, it says, Therefore also I have lent him to the Lord as long as he liveth. Amen. He shall be lent to the Lord and he shall worship. Amen. The Lord there. She kept her promise. God kept his. <laughs> Thank you, Lord God, because he lied, told her, go in peace. Amen. Praise God. And we talked about that. That was a dismissal, a dismission. Amen. That being, it's like being in court and you hearing the judge said, amen, it's dismissed. Amen. I bless God still again. Amen. The word of God in Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. I want you to understand, amen, that God, there was a word that was prophesied. Amen. That God spoke a word, amen, in the garden. Amen. When, when Adam and Eve messed up. Amen. But there was a prophecy, thank you, Lord God, and the prophecy was this, amen, of a man that would, amen, from the seed, amen, Eve's seed that would bruise, thank you, Lord God, the head of the enemy to defeat, praise God, the devil. And I thank God because still just to back it up in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, the Bible tells us, for unto us a child is born. Look at the prophecy, amen, from Isaiah. Unto us a child is born and unto us a son is given and the government, my God, shall be upon his shoulder the government shall be upon his shoulder and his name shall be called wonderful counselor the mighty God the everlasting father the prince of peace and I bless God because y'all I'm still talking about how it came to pass it came to pass y'all remember in John chapter 11 this week as we shared the word of God amen where Jesus told Martha and Mary remember Martha and Mary they sent word to Jesus hey Amen. The one you love, you love, Lazarus, he's sick. Amen. Praise God. He said for Jesus, for Jesus, amen. He stayed where he was two more days. And when he got there, it had been four days. But even when Martha came out and even remember, he spoke these words to Martha and Mary. He said, if only you believe, if you would only believe, you're going to see the glory of God. God is still saying to us, he's saying to you and me, if you only believe, you're going to see the glory of God. And I bless God because, listen, after the miracle, because there was a, that was a miracle, Lazarus was dead and Jesus called him out of that tomb. Amen. After the miracle of Lazarus in John chapter 11, I got to put it in your hearing. Thank you, Lord God. Verses 48 through 53, the word of God says, Then gathered the chief priests, amen, and the Pharisees, a council, amen, praise God, and said, What do we do? What are we going to do? But this man do many miracles. Oh, they had him. They, they had him. They had him scrambling. Amen. And the word of God says in verse, amen, 48. I started at 47. But in verse 48, it says, if we let him, amen, thus alone, all men will believe on him. And the Romans shall come, amen, and take away both our place and our nation. This is what they were saying. They, had, they were talking amongst themselves. They were saying, look, he done did so many miracles. What are we going to do here? And in verse 49, the word of God says, and one of them, amen, named Caiaphas, being the high priest that same year, said unto them, you, amen, praise God, ye know nothing at all. In verse 50, he says, nor consider that it is expedient for us that one man, amen, should die for the people and that the whole nation perish not. Now, I want you to hear the prophecy because even here, that was the prophecy, rather. Thank you, Lord God. In verse 51, it says, And this spake he, amen, not of himself, but being the high priest that year, he prophesied. He prophesied that Jesus should die for the nation. Y'all, let me tell you, it came to pass. <laughs> Thank you, God. In verse 52, the word of God says, and not for that nation only, but that also he should gather together in, in one the children of God that were scattered abroad. And in verse 53, the word of God says, Then from that day forth they took counsel together for to put him to death. 
Amen. I bless God for the word of God, y'all, because it did. It came to pass. It came to pass. Thank you, Lord God. Did he not, amen, die on the cross? Did he not? Thank you, Lord God. But listen, he didn't stay there. He got up. Thank you. Ha! God, we thank you. He got up. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father. Took back the keys. Thank you, Lord God. And we bless the Lord. Amen. He got all power. All power is in his hands. And I thank God in the name of Jesus. I thank God that my life been changed. Your life been changed. If you've accepted him as Lord and Savior, your life been changed. I praise God and I give God thanks, glory, and honor in the mighty matchless name of Jesus. Let me tell you, Ephesians, amen, Ephesians 3, 20, amen. It says, amen, thank you, Lord God, that God is able. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above. Thank you, Lord God. All that we ask or think. Amen. Now unto him. I love, amen, amen, the amplified translation of this. Praise God. The word of God says, now, amen, to him that is able to carry out his purpose. Now unto him that is able to carry out his purpose. Now unto him. Thank you, Lord God, that is able to carry out his purpose and do super abundantly more than all that we dare to ask or think. Thank you, Lord God. I bless God infinitely beyond our greatest prayers. Whatever prayer you can pray, God is able to do above it. Whatever you can hope for, God is able to do above it. Amen. Above your dreams, thank you, Lord God, according to his power, according to the power that is at work. Amen. Within us. Amen. I thank God in the mighty name of Jesus this morning, still knowing it came to pass, y'all. It's still coming to pass. It's still working. Thank you, Lord God. And I praise God and give God thanks. Amen. Remember, if you don't remember in everything that we are to give God thanks, that's the word of God. Give him thanks. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him glory. We don't give man glory. We give God glory. We give him praise. We bless his name. We pray without ceasing. That's the word of God. Pray without ceasing. Don't cease to pray. Men ought to always pray and not faint. You don't faint. You don't quit. You don't give up. Thank you, Lord God. You don't be weary in your well-doing. Thank you, Lord God, because you know in due season you're going to reap if you don't quit. If you don't quit, if you don't stop, we already know quitting is not an option. So, God, we say thank you this morning. We praise and glorify you for your word. We thank you because we know that you are in control. We thank you because we know that you are God. We know that you are Abba, our Father. We know, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, that you are our strength. You are, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. You are, Father, you are the sovereign God, the ruler. You're the big boss. You're the big boss. You're the one that's in control. You're in control of everything. We bless and honor you in the name of Jesus. We pray right now and still decree and declaring over you, saints of God, don't get distracted in this hour. Don't you get distracted. Don't you be pulled away by things, praise God, that's taking place on the left, the right, in front of you, or in the back. Thank you, Lord God, but keep your eyes focused. Focus on him, your Lord and Savior, the God who is able, again, able to do exceeding abundantly above what you ask. We praise and magnify you, Lord God. We thank you because we know you as Savior. We know you, Lord God, as our deliverer. We know you, Lord God, as Abba. Thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you today. We praise and magnify you, Father. In the name of Jesus, as healer, you're our healer. We thank you right now. You sent your word, God. You sent your word, and your word took on the form of flesh. Thank you, Lord God, and dwelt among us. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, and healed us. Thank you. That's still your word, Lord God. You desire above all things that we prosper, be in health, even as our soul prosper. That's your desire for us in the name of Jesus. We're standing, Father, on your word. We're standing.
standing on it, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Every promise, Lord God. And still knowing, Lord God, no man can go beyond, Lord God, your word. No one can go beyond what you've already spoken. Nobody can go beyond, Lord God, what you said. We are blessed and favored of you. We thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. The favor of God is on our lives. The favor of God go before us. The favor of God, thank you, Lord God, it changes rules and regulations. It changes policies, what men have written. Thank you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah, they're writing policies, but my God, in the name of Jesus, the favor of God in the mighty name of Jesus, God will open a door that man has shut, and God will shut a door that man can't open. God, we give you praise in the mighty matchless name of Jesus today. We praise you, our Savior. We thank you for everything, Lord God, that you're doing. We thank you because you crowd us with favor. We're blessed coming in. We're blessed going out. We thank you in the name of Jesus. We praise you and glorify you, our Savior. We magnify your name. We thank you, Lord God. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Love gave his life for us. Ah, Thank you in the name of Jesus. And we praise you. We glorify you. We thank you today in the name of Jesus. That even as we surrender, we surrender, Lord God, our will. We surrender it to you, God. We lift our hands. That's the sign of surrender that we do. We surrender to you, God, in the name of Jesus, and we thank you. We praise you, Father. Thank you for this day once again. Thank you, Lord God. We give praise. We give thanks. In the name of Jesus, because that's what you said. In everything, give thanks right where we are, whatever the circumstance may be going on in our lives. But you still say, give thanks, give you praise, give your glory. And Father, we give you praise. We're not holding back. We're not going to allow, Lord God, a rock to cry out in our place. We're going to praise you as long as there's breath in our body. We will bless your name. We will bless you. Thank you, Lord God. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth and my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt, exalt his name together. Give him glory. Give him praise in the mighty name of Jesus. He deserve it. God deserve. Thank you, Lord God. He deserve our thank yous. He deserve our hallelujahs. He deserve it all in the mighty name of Jesus. So we praise you, God. We thank you right now. Thank you for covering all of us. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you in the name of Jesus. We bless your name. It's still y'all. By the authority of the name of Jesus Christ that we render demonic spirits and attacks every evil altar. There were some evil altars last night. you got to know it. Thank you, Lord God, this month of October. In the name of Jesus, where we are, saints of God, open your eyes and understand and see. And know, thank you, Lord God, there are evil altars. The enemy, just like we're on an altar, the enemy is on an altar. But I thank God by his authority. We render every demonic spirit. Spirit, every attack of the enemy, helpless, powerless, and operative, and still ineffective. We decree, declare your word, God, that no weapons formed against us will be able to prosper. It will not succeed, neither will it prevail. We give you the glory. We give you the honor. It's in Jesus' mighty, matchless name. It came to pass. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, God. Amen. Praise God. We bless God for the word this morning and the prayer. Amen. And it came to pass. Trust God no matter what, thanks of God. Listen, be encouraged, amen, as you go throughout your day and your weekend. Encourage others, amen, praise God. Speak life and not death. Speak victory and not defeat. And know that you're way more than conquerors. You're overcomers. You've been brought with the price, the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Live on purpose. Live with the purpose. And live the purpose of life. God bless you. Me and the woman of God, we love it. The life go in peace.